Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you a new method to bypass the Google account. This method works on all Samsung devices with Android and it is very easy. So uh, just follow my steps and uh, you will see that uh, this, this method uh, really works and uh, your phone will be okay. So first thing that you must do is to go online on Internet Explorer and go on Google and download Samsung Side Sync. Okay. And uh, here is the download page. Okay. And uh, download and install on your computer. I already did that and uh, after you install just open the application and leave it on your desktop. Now let's go back to the phone. So click on the yellow arrow and first thing that you must do is connect to a Wi-Fi network. I will connect to mine and I will enter my password and click connect. and now click next and next agree and here you must verify your account so all that you must do is connect your phone to, uh, to your computer with a micro USB data cable. So this side I will connect to my computer and this side I will connect to my phone. And let's do it. And now as you can see a Windows is open on my phone and I have access to Chrome and disconnect your phone and click on Chrome. Now click accept and continue. No thanks. And click in the search bar and type this link. Okay. Here is the link, you will find it in the video description and click go. And uh, you will be redirected to a link and from here you must download this application. This is a quick shortcut application so just click OK and the application is downloading. Now click back again. Okay, let's translate this page and click done. Click OK. Now click agree. click uh, update and click OK and wait until the update is complete. Now the update is complete and you are a Samsung page and click here. Click OK. Click again here and click on the search bar and type here ES file explorer now click to download this application and now you must create or sign in in your Samsung account if you don't have a Samsung account, it is very easy. Just click on create account and enter your, uh, fill your data. And uh, if you already have an account, just click sign in and I will enter my account. 
account and now I'm in a Samsung account just loading click accept and download and wait a few seconds until download is complete now click on play button and click once two three and click on download and here is my application that I downloaded before click on this click install click settings now just enable unknown sources and click OK and click install open and now here in the search bar just type Google account manager Google account ok and click done and click on this arrow on Google account manager and now click here Google account manager type email and password I hope you see it so here is type email and password click on this and click on try now click on these three points and click browser sign in click OK and now just enter your own Google account I will enter mine and now I'm back and just restart your phone click on the power button and click restart click restart and wait until your phone will restart it now click on the yellow arrow and click next next agree and now as you can see an account has been added so just click next and here click on this and set up a new device click done and click next skip skip anyway click just click next here click later and again later click next and finish and now as you can see you can access your phone now let's go to application click on settings and now click on backup and reset and go to factory data reset scroll down and click on reset device and click delete all and wait until your phone will restart and now just do the initial setup select your home language and click next 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 you don't need Wi-Fi network anymore so now the setup is complete and here is my phone now let's go to settings and click on about device and click on software info so this is my Android version 5.1.1 but this method uh, works also on Android version 6.0 and this is the Android security patch level April 2 2016 so this method works 
for all the Samsung models and uh, works also for the, the April security patch level. So I hope this video to be useful for you and if you want you can subscribe to our channel to watch more interesting tutorials. Have a nice day.